it sound right, boys. What's going on, everybody? What's up, buddy? I hope everybody is well because I just drove down to Dunkin' Dog Nuts and I got myself a nice Dunkin' Dog Nuts coffee. It's too bad they removed dunk they removed the donuts part. Because now all of my kids are gonna grow up. I mean, they might know Dunkin' Donuts because we say Dunkin' Donuts so much, but, you know, at some point when they're a little bit older, they're just going to be like, dude, what do you mean Dunkin' Donuts? It's just Dunkin'. And I'm going to be like, ugh. Oh. And now the Dunkin' Dog Nuts, the Dunkin' Dog Nuts joke isn't going to work. And on top of that, I'm just going to seem creepy because I have to wait to say Dunkin' Dog Nuts to my kids until they're like 21 years old right or like 18 or something because that's weird to say dog nuts to your kids i feel like so i gotta wait to say dog nuts until my kids are like 18 and by the time they're 18 and i go hey yo duncan dog nuts the joke doesn't even work because they're gonna be like what's what are you talking about i'll be like no you know duncan donuts duncan dog nuts and they're like, Duncan's? What? Like, it's not going to work. The joke doesn't work anymore. It's not really a joke, but I mean, you know what I mean? They're, I don't know. Whatever. I'm old. Bro, I'm old now. That's what it is. Dude, monetize this uh, 300 is next week, dude. Why do you think monetize this 300 is tonight? That's next week. Tonight is 299 Monetize this 299 is tonight, dude. But yeah, either way, it's still monetized this and it's tonight. The band return tonight. The people who are banned return tonight. It's going to be uh, sexy, brother. Sexy tonight, brother. As I sip my coffee, it's been a really busy day. Leah's been dealing with all the kids stuff. I've gone to hell and back. Um wrestling stuff i've been looking up on the wrestling news not too much crazy i may try to do smackdown tonight just because i need i need to start doing that i think i just need to start doing it so like i really need to i can't miss these things but I, i'm gonna have to have all my uh stuff set up all the donos fixed and everything like that yeah i don't know man it just seemed like the best song to play like the best I don't know. I just I looked on the screen. There was seven YouTube free songs, and that was the one that I that was most hype. Other ones were like, other ones were trap beats and stuff like that. They were just like trap beats and like they were, like, and it was like, man, this is lame. Like, so that was the most hype beat I could find. So that's why I went with that. So you know, you be the judge on the music if it was good. I don't know. 
It's whatever. It's free music. And I'm not doing copyrights anymore because you can't afford to do it. So that's why a lot of the music has changed, man. I used to have crazy hype songs and things. You know, uh, crazy hype songs and like crazy beats. I have tons of beats I even paid for. And dude, they hit me even for the paid beats. You know, and some of them are paid. Some of them are paid for and they're like whatever. But they hit me for the paid beats. So now I can't even do that. Because then you have to, you're like, I own this beat. I paid for this beat to use it. I paid legally to use this beat. But then the minute your video uploads, it gets hit with a copyright. And then it's like, oh, you own it? Just submit a claim. And then you submit a claim. And then three days later, they're like, oh, okay. And they release the claim. But by then, your video is down to like almost no views. So it doesn't matter. So you're just like, okay, what was the point in that? What's up, uh, Sensei Zone? You like the new room setup? Yeah, it's really cool down here. I mean, it's not, it's, this is the, what, this is my third look in the new house. First, we had this look, but with blue background and the room was like a wreck. And then the water started leaking in and damaged the floor area. And then I fixed a bunch of stuff. And while I was fixing everything, I sat in front of a green screen. So I did the whole green screen stuff. And um, after the green screen stuff, I fixed this all up and then redid the whole room completely. But the only thing that bums me out is right before the flood or the, the water leaked in and ruined some things, right before all that stuff, before we got it fixed, I kind of had this like live show look going on that I liked, you know, like the laptop was everywhere. The TVs, it looked like, like I was doing like a full, like, you know, like TV room setup. So I want to get back to that. So that's my next, next thing is to really get back to that look. I know you guys may remember it. It was like, what was it at the end of 2019? I want to say it was like, Joe. I'm trying to look I'm trying to look back and find an example of when the room looked like that. This it's funny that I've had so many different looks in this room, but it's not it's not by design, it's not on purpose. It's just that all the damage happened, you know what I mean? Like all that shit happened, but who knows what's going to happen coming up in the future, man, with the way things are going in the world. Things are just getting worse and worse and you know, it's definitely a unsure time right now. I have no idea what, what what's going on. But I know that uh Wow. Oh my god oh, yeah. Wow. I'm trying to see if I can find it, but I, I don't know, man. I can't find it. I can find me and Jake. Wow, Jake was so much bigger, dude. He lost so much weight after his surgery. Crazy. Look at this. This is just uh this was December of two thousand nineteen. So this is right before the pandemic. Look, right before the pandemic, Jake was eating like a fucking maniac. Look at this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are we live? Are we live yet? <laughs> Can you see if I'm live? Uh, yeah, we're live. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, so I just I just realized something. I just realized something huge. I just realized something. Number one, do you guys remember last year at that same time, around that time, I lost my wedding ring? Do you guys remember that? Well, I was just looking at that video and I was looking at my face and my hands and I go, oh, look at my wedding ring. I just looked down at my hands. My wedding ring's missing again. Dude, are you serious? It's missing again. I just realized it. This is crazy. I got to go look for something. I got to go look really quickly. This is this is unbelievable. Look at this. There it is. Wow. Oh my god. 
10 minutes over for that. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now, dude. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I would have, you know, have them hear his voice, you know, and oh, Rusev, and then Bobby spears the cake, but he's not in there. He's like, I knew, you know, that kind of thing. Like at least, because it was so obvious he was in there. <laughs> So he smears the cake and he's not in there and he's like, oh no! And then he's, you know, that's when he comes out from under the ring or something. And and the fact that she had blackface all over her, she had blackface. Bobby's he, a white makeup. guy. I knew it. I knew Bobby <laughs> Lashley white. was a white guy. He's doing fucking blackface. They have no one show up for them to support them. Not even the heels. Bobby's sisters don't even show up this time. You know. <laughs> I mean, oh what my is god. This? Wow. I, I don't know what to make of any of that. That was awful. They had to have... I'm so happy I didn't go. I am so happy I didn't go tonight. That is so bad. I'm so happy, man. Bobby Lashley is a white man. I knew it. That fucking... That I... was worse than 2000 WCW and, and most of TNA combined right there. Like, that was abysmal. That was, I, I that knew wasn't there even was... like so bad it was good. That was just straight up odd. I so knew there was a, no that's way. How you, that, all the... the buzz for Liv Morgan... Everything that oh she's gonna be the fiend's you know counterpart that's Sister Abigail, I've been saying. Oh well, God, that's stupid. Anybody who thought that it, but it, they've still stupid. gone on with it online. It's been incessant. That's, that's stupid. Like, why does anyone believe that? I mean, see, when you get your hopes up, she should be nobody. Is what she should. She shouldn't. She came back to be a lesbian who got duped by Lana. Who, by the way, have you not been watching Lana making out with Bobby every week and? In sensing Rusev, where have you been this whole now time? Now is your chance to return to to attack, and all of this that made you know, all no the big sense and promos about her being a new person is just her coming out of the closet. They are fucking idiots, man. This company is retarded. This so they whole wanted thing... to go and add a layer of lesbianism to to what placate to the masses more. They don't what? have another lesbian. They only have one on SmackDown, so they need one on Raw. But she's like an idiot. Like she's like, oh, I'm coming back as a new person. And then, this would make sense if out of nowhere Lashley and her were getting married, but they've been yeah, they've been doing this for weeks. Like you said, weeks ago when they first started making out. Right? Why would you just show up now? Like you did. That was the dumbest. That was like, dude, this was like full on plot hole, dumb, retarded stuff. This whole night was plot hole, dumb. They they had Seth and everybody leave on their own volition. Like security's like, oh, you gotta go. Okay, show's gonna suck without us. They, they they got rid of all of their main event talent in the first 20 minutes. The Randy Orton thing was a fucking nightmare in my eyes. It made no sense. Well, oh, it made oh, all the he did it just so he could RKO him. But he could do that anytime. So what was the point of the whole cell? And and he, he could. Well, it's not like I'll tell I can you. Understand what, you he's know? been trying to get to Orton for weeks, and Orton's always got the OC by his side, so he can't get to him. So he's got to do something to to get that advantage to get near him. But that's not the story they're telling. He's RKO'd him a dozen times in the past few weeks. It was this. So, it was to get people to watch Raw. That's that's no, no doubt. I mean, I know that, but I mean, but it doesn't make any that, sense. There's no but... booking reason. This isn't a main event feud. They're not building towards their WrestleMania feud, and it cheapens the, uh, you know, the retirement speech that people either are forced to give or well, you know, this wasn't Mark Henry level. This it was it was it wasn't a, as good as Mark Henry. It wasn't as good as Mark Henry, but. And that's the thing, like, at least that was going for something. Mark was, you know, the swerve was great. Everyone pretty much caught on quick when he was getting in the ring. They made him walk down there and just all of it. And, and then the way AJ delivered the lines, he sounded, oh, I'm going to try and not be childish, but I am childish. I'm not touching you. Like, What was that? Like, you knew he was right because of the way, like, AJ was, like, doing that. Do Okay, so what AJ was doing was so forced. Like, yes, oh, yes. I'm going to poke you and ooh. Oh, now I get RKO'd. Like that was so fucking forced that it wasn't cut him down with words. It and, wasn't and, believable because of how forced it was. So and then on top of it, they Orton literally says, "I'm not going to you know be back for a long time, but come one way or another, I'll be delivering an RKO at Mania. Mania is what three, four months away. You know, technically not even four full months away. It's, it's that was it's weird three months too. In a week. So you, all this, you're you're that bad that you don't know if you can ever return. But you guys are going to have a match at Mania in three months. I don't get that either, man. This was all writing. Every word that was written and said from a script, Ricochet tonight made no sense. He came in and he goes, you're going to do that 
and to Humberto Carrillo and then our legend, Rey Mysterio. Who the fuck talks like that? Dude, you would come out and say, hey, you want to put somebody in the cement? Try to put me in the cement. Exactly. Try, try to fucking break my neck in the concrete. How about that? No, he had to spit fucking five minutes of exposition to get what there. What was he saying? Like, nobody talks like Super these Heroes people. None of these wrestlers are human beings. Nobody talks like these wrestlers talk on Raw. Listen to what they say on Raw. These are not human words. This is like when I was... Dude, I'm a terrible, like, story writer. When I was a kid, I used to write stuff. And it would, like, when you read it back, when I'm writing it, I'm thinking it's great. And then I would read it back later, and I'd be like, wow, this is terrible. Like, that's exactly... But but it's like, I'm, they're the writers of Raw. Everybody's words were clearly scripted because nobody fucking talks like this. That's the biggest thing to take from what we're seeing and what and, we're hearing. You know, like you said, it just the, the way people interact with each other and the reactions they have and how they should communicate is is nightmare inducing. I mean, even from right off the bat with Owens and the way he was speaking and 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 calling out Seth, I mean, to me it was just a lot of it was was him downplaying himself and trying to sound like he was boasting up Seth, and he wouldn't sound like this. You're the baby face. Right. I mean, like I said, the whole night was filled with these plot holes and, and overbooked nonsense. I know some people were kind of saying like, oh, it was it was genius at WWE, or I give them credit because it was smart with the Orton thing. No, literally, he probably tweaked something over the weekend at the house show, and we have heard before that they want to make house shows you know, uh, part of their canon, basically, to try and increase ticket sales. That's why they did the title change, and now... Oh, it, you know, what happens matters on the weekends. God knows how long they'll stick with that because they've scrapped that a dozen times. But I was I was going back I, I, and forth before. Wow, I, I man, Jake. Oh, my God, dude. Jake lost so much weight. It's almost insane. Holy crap, dude. I'm back. To, we're back live, by the way, everybody. We're live, everybody. I'm sorry. I could not find the ring. Dude, I, I just I just looked down and I realized I'm missing my wedding ring again. You, and, and you know what made me think of this was losing weight. I just lost another four pounds. So I'm down from, you guys remember last year I lost my wedding ring? I lost my wedding ring for like a week. I actually used my own YouTube videos to find my wedding ring, if you guys remember. I went through my YouTube videos and I was like, okay, when did I last have it on? And I found, uh, I found, ended up finding out that I had last had it on, um, like during this period and then I remembered that day I actually was playing electronic drums. My, my, I was playing my drum set and I actually did. I took it off and, and it, I thought it fell off, but I took it off and I put it down and didn't even realize it. Um, tonight's monetize this. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's two ninety nine, not 300. I don't know why uh, some people thought that. But yeah, I, so I don't know, man. I think it fell off again because it fell off another time. But when it fell off the last time, it was in bed and I woke up and it was laying there. And I was like, oh, there it is. And I picked it up and put it on. The time with the drums, I think it might have fallen off while I was just playing drums. Like it slipped off. I think that's what happened. And this time I have no idea. So don't bother looking in here. It's a wreck in here. Oh, I'd look out there. Um, I got to go look. At, that's the first thing I'm doing. When I'm done this, um, but it's got to be somewhere, man. I'm thinking maybe it's on in the gloves when I was when I was outside. Remember when I was staining the thing outside when I pulled the gloves off. Maybe it came off with that right outside. Yeah, the door outside in the actual outside. I lost my precious. Yes. Um, the, the new, uh, Streamlabs link is up, uh, top there. The new donation link is up to top now. Sorry. Sorry, Brad. No idea what's going on. They still haven't gotten back to me yet. There's, there, there's something majorly wrong over there or something. They're not responding to people and stuff. I don't know what's going on. So I just made a new one. I'm going to have to work on recreating all of the, all of the things for tonight's show because they haven't gotten back to me yet. It's been four days. My old link is broken. It doesn't work if you go to it. It's been four days. They haven't been able to fix it. I was I was really hoping that they would fix it by Friday so I wouldn't have to go fix this thing. You know what I mean? But now I'm going to have to spend four hours doing this. It's going to it's gonna take like four... Uh, it's going to take four hours to get it almost... And I won't even be transferring over all of them. I'll just be transferring over the ones I think that are going to be the most important. You know, it's like... It's so ridiculous. So, I, I you know, I, I don't know, man. This is crazy. 
you know, I lost four pounds and I, I think that could be it. I was 228, never lost my wedding ring. I was 220, never lost my wedding ring. Then I got down to 216 and I lost the wedding ring twice. But I found it the first time really quickly. It was right next to me. And the second time, obviously, was the drums. And um, now I've lost it again. And now I'm down to two. Uh, I'm back down to 209 right now. So I weigh 209. So I don't know. crazy freaked out i'd lose the ring the first few months myself says too sweet what's going on that's funny what's up guys i can't even do the hangouts in the car anymore because the app for uh the app for streamlabs is just terrible so it doesn't work anymore ever since they updated it no. You didn't find it out there? Because I didn't look around a lot. I don't have a jacket or shoes on. I kind of just like run back in. Now my feet are freezing. Yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, don't worry about it. I'm going to clean up. Maybe I'll find it while cleaning. That's what happened the last time. I found it while cleaning. But the problem is I've been cleaning the last couple of days. I don't know when I lost it. Now I'm going to have to do what I did that last time, which is like look up videos and be like, when did I lose it? I, I could. I you know how I noticed is I was I went back a year to look at my. Oh yeah, I don't know. I went back to look at a year ago to look at my old setup in the room because people were bringing it up, and I was like, yeah, let me go look at what my room used to look at because I had this place really looking like a studio and a stage or whatever, and then um. I looked at my hands and I saw the ring and I was like, oh yeah, my ring. I haven't. I feel like I haven't seen that in a while. And I'm like, wait, why wouldn't I have seen that in a while? Then I looked down at my hand and saw it wasn't there. It was almost like I knew it wasn't there, but didn't know. It was really weird. Oh, my God. This is crazy. It's totally thrown me off. I had all these things to talk about, I, I thought, like in these ideas and what, you know, what was going to be going on. And Oh, my God. And this totally threw me all off. Because I, I don't know, I'm weird like that. I'm like sentimental about stuff. I'll freak out. Uh, but yeah, monetize this two ninety nine is tonight. Now everybody can return. It's called it's two. It's the return. We're calling it a hashtag uh, MT return on Twitter. I don't know. I don't even notice it really. It's it's the I can barely breathe is my problem. Huh? Yeah, I'm probably getting all that poisonous gas from the ground that's coming up, killing me slowly. Ricochet's contract reportedly expires in 2024, by the way. For, remember yesterday we were debating on what the hell's going on with Ricochet's contract? They're saying it's uh, that he signed a five-year deal when he moved to the main roster. So Ricochet is here till 2024. So that that stuff about him going anywhere is out the window. 100% out the window. Uh yes, I I know that. Yeah, there's a new one. There's a new link uh glorious there's a new donation link. It's right here. This is the new donation link. It should be at the top. I, I pinned the new donation link to the top. You guys can use that or uh, or Super Chat, whatever you want to use. Um, I also listed the new donation link in the description box down below. So it's a brand new link, whole new link. I don't know why the other one isn't working, but uh, they're like there's like crazy stuff going on over there at the at that place and they haven't um responded to my to my uh stuff yet which is weird my rep isn't there i guess and it's crazy man like i don't know what's going on there they haven't four days they haven't responded i sent like two emails they haven't responded to me so i can't use that link right now i'm using my other link so the other one's working just fine but it's just uh all the amounts aren't set up but so just use the perfect sparrow one Yeah, you can use PayPal, Glorious. 
You can use PayPal on that. You got to use PayPal though. Yeah. What's wrong with PayPal? What do you mean? What's wrong with PayPal? Um, you can use PayPal. You can use credit card through PayPal, you know, whatever you want to do. But, uh, you know, everything, everything like this always happens, man. You know, something always is out there to shut the show down, shut my shit down, you know, take my shit out, whatever it is. It's always something with me, you know, I don't know. It's always something. This year, probably we have NXT Mexico. Wow. That's crazy. Are they really doing that, uh, Shia? I've never heard of them doing that to anybody. I've never heard of uh, them banning anybody, to be honest. I've never heard of that. To be honest. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Maybe they banned me. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, I don't know. My whole thing works. So uh, that doesn't make any sense. It all works. It's all still there. Nobody sent me an email. They're like, hey, you're in trouble. Nothing like that happened, so whatever. Not sure. Yeah, I don't know, man. No idea. No idea what's going on. Shit bomb. I'm not sure what the problem is. You become a shit bomb. What's up, Brad? I just prefer credit card over PayPal, Daddy Joe. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you rather the credit card. Yeah, we should have that enabled soon. Should have that enabled soon. Um, I think. I just have to re-up it on this uh, page or whatever. So I should have that fixed. Maybe by tonight that will work. By Maybe if I monetize this tonight, it might work. I'm not sure, though. But uh, thank you, Glorious Eugene. What's up, Glorious? Hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a really... It's always something, man, with this world. The world's about to end, I think, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do. <laughs> I think it's been a... Oh, no, it's a Karen. <laughs> Omar donates and something got deleted in what Omar said. I don't even know what Omar said. Maybe there's a new list of things they like you can't say. Omar. Omar with the $17. Dollars. 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 This, this year has been crap. crap. Just, Just been, been stuck in England, England over the past year. year. Fuck that Chinese cunt bag who ate a bat. <laughs> oh my god that's funny i don't you, you really believe that at this point does anybody believe that at this point i'm not sure if i believe that anymore that someone just ate a bat i don't think so i don't know man i'm starting to wonder starting not to believe that they got me so crazy that i'm starting not to believe that omar you are you are certainly the, the top, top dog. dog omar thank you Omar's top dog with $17, baby. What's up, Omar? Omar. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know what I believe anymore, but I know I don't believe anything almost. I know that I almost believe nothing that I'm actually told anymore. So they've accomplished that in this country of scaring the hell out of everybody. What's up? How you been, man? Every Nobody believes anything anymore. I know that. It feels like. That's why everybody's freaking shit out there, but because nobody believes anything. You become a shit bomb. Ever thought about reviewing poker and golf? 
No. Now, I play both of those. I think it's fun to play golf. Like, it actually is. It's, it's like you make fun of golf and, like, oh, a bunch of losers. But, like, it's actually fun to play. Like, if you've ever, like, been out on a golf course, you know what I mean? Like, it's just fun to play golf and to, like, just be out in outdoors in the sun and stuff. Like, so when you – and it's fun to play poker, too. So both of those things that you just mentioned, I want to do them. I want to sit at a card table with, with, with guys and even women, savage women, women who rub their thighs and stare at their own private parts while they drool while looking at you. That's what I want to do. I want to sit at a card table with men who are looking at each other like they're, they're fighting for the three women at the table's lust. And I want the woman at the table whose cooch is dripping to stare at you like to intimidate you whether and you think that she's actually trying to tease you with love love in her body but really she wants to take your money cuz she's a savage at the poker table that's what i want to do or i want to be on the golf course as the sun and god looks down on us all as we are driving a a, a little tiny white ball on a field owned by douchebags who are rich into a little teacup that's 300 yards away the most pretentious scumbaggery type of game to whack a tiny ball into a hole that's 300 yards away on land, wasted land on a game like this. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to drink a Corona while driving a tiny cart across this thing. I don't even drive a golf cart. I say that, but I don't drive a golf cart. I always walked on the golf course because that's the point. I'm going to do eight holes. Eight holes will get me, keep me in the right shape. That's what I'm going to do. Eight fucking holes. Somebody's calling me and I'm not going to answer it because it's probably spam. Let's actually answer it. That's really too bad because that would have been gold. That would have been some gold. That would have been gold if, if that person had been on the line. I can tell it was probably some kind of bogus call too. Oh, my God. That would have been gold. <sighs> that would have been straight fire, dude. Yo, uh, Omar, thanks for the donation, Omar, and Glorious Eugene. Thank you guys for uh, keeping the show alive, man, keeping this whole thing alive. You woke me up even. I was in a trance like thinking about my r wedding ring that's missing. Again, now I've lost my wedding ring again. Leah's brother, now Leah's brother sent me a sick Diablo 4 sweatshirt. Check this out. This is my Christmas present. A sick Diablo 4 uh, sweatshirt. And also inside the sweatshirt, a bunch of Biden and Harris stickers. Sick. As if, like, I'm happy that anybody's been president, right? Like, as if, like, I was rooting for anybody over, you know, Biden or Harris, like, which I wasn't because I don't care. I just thought, I think everybody sucks. So it's, like, as if I cared which one it was. By the way, Ricochet, for the people just who uh, are just getting here and realizing it, Ricochet, bro, little update to last night's uh, podcast or whatever out of nowhere, Ricochet signed until 2024. That's the big uh, state statement. From um, uh, Observer. Jesus Christ. I'm having a stroke or something, dude. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm drinking. You know what it is? The coffee. The stimulant's working, man. I'm starting to freak shit out. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. Yo, slow death. What's up, man? I know you are an independent, so you never fell for the MSMBS, but you seem to be red Bill day F. What happened? So um, people have been itching for the political talk. So I guess I'm, I'm not really going to go that way. I'm just going to say that um, I was always liberal. I was always a left wing liberal. So I always hated the right, said stuff like, you know, they're idiots and they don't believe 
in stuff. All they believe in. They believe in the invisible man in the sky, and that's it. They don't believe in any science and stuff like that. Um, but what I've come to learn is that it's not that way necessarily. I still don't like that side, like the hardcore right side, but now I don't like the left either. So, like, I've moved to the middle um, to where I'm in my own free thought bubble. I'm in my own free thinking bubble of, like, hey, listen, here's what I think, but I'm kind of always I'm open-minded. The, the best way to describe it is, dude, like, a Sith always, a Sith, only a Sith deals in absolutes. And what I'm seeing everywhere from every side that's evil are absolutes everywhere. You must be this or you're that. You are this and you are banned. You are these things. You are that. If you think this, you're a libtard. If you think that, you're a right-wing Nazi. If you say this, you're that. Like, just this constant, like, you are this, done. Like, that... Like, dude, that's like Star Trek and Star Wars have two of the best lines, I think, ever that I really enjoy, right? Like Star Trek has the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. I love that selfless type of statement. I enjoy that type of Zen or sacrifice. And Star Wars to me has the... uh, the, it's actually in the prequels. It's not in the the good Star Wars. It's in the prequels. But the o- the the only a Sith deals in absolutes is like like that's huge to me because only a crazy person who is evil is gonna be like you will do this or dead. Like you will you said this so you're done. Like you do this or else. We believe in this only. That's it. Like anybody who does that is usually crazy. Usually crazy. So don't believe in absolutes and consider that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. That's why I wear a mask, but I also don't just believe that, oh, this guy doesn't believe what I believe, so ban him or like ban these people or like whatever. You know what I mean? Like that's... Why, that's like I feel like I'm connected to those two thoughts which come from stupid movies like it doesn't even make any sense but um yeah so you say what happened I don't know man I'm just independent it's I don't I also didn't you know I used to listen to sports talk radio and whenever like the sports talk people would start diving into politics I'd get aggravated right because I'd be like oh no like I no stop it You guys know what I'm talking about. If you're out there and you're listening to this right now and you're like a left-wing person or you're a right-wing person, the minute that somebody starts talking hardcore the other way, even if you like them, you kind of go, ugh. And you probably feel like this. You probably feel when you hear somebody who you like start to speak about politics far right or far left, and you know that they're into that, but you ignore it because you still like them as an entertainer, but whatever. And then they start being like, well, you know how the Trumps are going to do. And then you're just like, oh, no. Or, you, well, we need Biden, you know, or, oh, no, you know, whatever it is that irritates you. And you start, you actually eventually stop listening to that person a lot of times. You'll find yourself turning it off because you are upset that they, that you feel like they're one of them that tries to do like control and that they're clueless or they're the bad people and you can't even deal with it. Because you don't want to fight with your favorite creator about what their politics are. You just want to listen to them talk about sports. Go back to talking about sports, dude. So that's what that's what that's what happens. But the good the thing, the reason why I'm not too worried about talking about things like this is kind of because I just fully I'm not preaching to anybody about it. I don't know. I admit that I just come out and say I don't know a damn thing. I'm just talking about shit. The only one that I can listen to is Jim Corn you know, Jim Cornette is funny when he like roasts you know, like he hates Trump. Like Jim Cornette hates Trump and hates the right and he just flips out on all of them. But it's like funny the way he does it, so it doesn't matter, you know. But also, I'm kind of independent, so I don't care. But maybe a hardcore right wing person 
e- even I've heard from really right wing people that they say they don't mind Cornette either, like that they still like Cornette too, but that they know he's crazy or whatever, or they know he's a uh, whatever the hell. So I don't know. It works for him, I guess, you know, because people still like it. <clears throat> I don't even know where my mic thing cover went. But yeah, so I don't know, man. I'm trying to think of all the ways to tell slow death about why, um, you know, okay, and I'll tell you another thing, slow death. Another thing that really kind of flipped me, it's not so much, I didn't become any right person. I'm not a right wing person. I just became a not left wing person. It all started the day the DNC stole the thing from uh, Bernie. You know what I mean? When I found out, when everybody found out, we all found out, because it's a hundred percent fact and everybody knows this when the dnc stole it from bernie and gave it to hillary i went crazy i went crazy i was typing on on facebook and everywhere anybody like you're done you're gonna lose now you're going to now lose to donald trump like ha ha I hope I can't wait till Trump becomes president because you're going to be so mad and it's all because you tried to give it to Hillary and you stole it from Bernie. And then and then a couple of weeks later, you know, it got 100% proven that they ripped it off of Bernie. And it was like, wow. And I think they kind of did it again too with Biden, but you know, nobody cares. They just keep doing it. Um so yeah, I'm not asleep anymore. That whole party is is corrupt. Just like the other parties, everything's corrupt. The whole world's corrupt. Oh, surprise. We always knew it, but we just finally admitted it. That's what it was. I finally admitted. Like, we thought it was all corrupt before, and you talk about it, but you think there's a couple of good people, right? You're playing the game, pretending the game is real or whatever. And then eventually you find out that it's, oh, yeah, you know what? It is all corrupt. It is all crap. I thought so, but I kind of, like, played the game. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Very crazy. Very weird. But yeah, that was the moment I would say a uh, slow death that I uh, didn't, I never registered again after that. Um, uh, Derek, uh, they stole it because they, they rigged it against Bernie. You know, uh, I forget, I forget everything now, but you can go Google it. It's all over the place. The, uh, the DNC head uh, had to step down and leave the DNC and everything. Uh, he can look it up on Vox or Politico, I don't know, Washington Post, I don't know, someone has it. Even the, even the Democrats admitted it later on. Here's, uh, Elizabeth Warren. They finally, once they admitted it, see, I was saying this for about, for months, right? I was saying this and like my family and Facebook people who are all also liberal Democrats, we're like, you're fucking crazy. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, I'm going to vote for the lesser of two evils. Uh. I'm like, dude, they stole it from Bernie. You ripped off Bernie. You're going to give it to the lesser of the two evils? They they already cheated. The You know, Trump didn't cheat his whole party. He won it. Trump won his party fair and square. The DNC stole it from their own party. And now you're going to vote for the lesser of two evils? Trump's never even been in office ever before. Biden's been in uh, uh, Hillary's been fucking all around this shit. I mean, here's CNN. I mean, CNN is scumbag fake news, but I mean, even they'll, you can go look it up on every news place everywhere. Even Elizabeth Warren admitted it. Asked if DNC system was rigged in Clinton's favor. Warren says, yes, it was rigged in Clinton's favor. They rigged it against fucking Bernie. And it's and you, if you really want to find out exactly what that means, you can go look it up and you can find out. It's easy. It's out there. It's everybody knows it. There are people that still don't know this. They still say, "What do you mean it was rigged? What do you mean? What do you mean it was rigged?" Everybody, what? Oh, crazy shit, dude. Crazy. Anyway, Jesus. Alex Oley, I don't know, man. I hope not. I'm not a big fan of him either, you know, to be honest. It's crazy. The whole party says that it was rigged against them. Um, and Bernie was just like, I don't know. I guess I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll just get in my Ferrari and I'll drive away and I'll just do whatever I do. I don't know. 
You know, I guess I'll just go somewhere else. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, thanks very much. I'll go back to my condo. I got five condos. I got a condo here, a condo there, a condo everywhere. I got a condo everywhere. Just look it up. Shit I love you guys. Bomb. Glorious. You become a shit bomb. Paid for the coffee. What does Carmen and a golf course has in common? They love having their holes filled by illegals. And oh. this ain't you, Jane. It's toes. Oh, my God. Glorious 1.0. What did I say, Glorious Eugene? <laughs> Sorry, Toes. Glorious 1.0. You've been Toes this whole time. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's been on. He's been unmasked, everybody. Omar's the top dog, though. Omar's top dog. You want to be known as as a dead dog? Okay, you can be dead dog. You be dead dog. All right. JD from my cock. Uh, you Cronin JD is the IWC Messiah. He has a 12 inch. I did not according to his ex girlfriends. He doesn't. JD will penetrate Joe with his massive 12 inch. There's no way that's possible. We literally had his ex girlfriend tell us he had a four inch. So that doesn't make sense. I don't know if I believe the four inch either, but still. You know, she had a little bit of, uh, you know, wom woman scorn. Isn't it funny when a girl, when a girl like loves a guy so much, but then when he leaves her, she'll call a show and be like, "It's big, it's five, it's tiny." Going for a COVID vaccine on Sunday, and I have to stop my MS medication for over a week. Whoa, real legend killer, man. Uh, listen, I hope you're okay, man. You go get that, and I hope you're safe. You should be good. You know what I mean? Nothing. Should be good, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I would do if they asked me if I wanted one right now. I'd probably tell them no. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. But that's me. If I was uh, compromised, I might do it. You know, like a. I don't even know, dude. I, I'm I'm at the point now where I'm ready to go full psycho. I'm almost going. I'm almost ready to go full like, rocking chair in the woods. Like I'm almost ready to go full like. Out of my element. Shit bomb. Slow death. You become a shit bomb. Donna Brazil admitted it in her book. Clinton Foundation gave an open check to the DNC. Mm. They were desperate because the DNC was bankrupt. Oh yes, that's right. She admitted it in the book. I forgot it, uh, where all the proof was. Yeah, Donna Brazil admitted it in the book. That's right. Clinton Foundation gave an open check to the DNC. That's right. So they paid for their own stuff, basically, is what he means. So, like, if the Clinton Foundation is like, here, DNC, here's, like, millions of dollars. Here I am. I win. You know what I mean? So everybody knew it. That, you know, hey, listen, guys, just here's the money. I'm the person. Let's go. Here's the money. I'm the person. No, get rid of Bernie. Get rid of him. Yeah, so there you go. Almost all my family took the vaccine, says Awandi. Yeah, Awandi, what do you guys have though? You don't have the P you don't have the Pfizer one, right? You guys have the uh you guys have the other one. Do you have the Moderna one or you have the Pfizer? What do you have? Let me know what you um So when I say the DNC was rigged, it was like, dude, I was I was actually kind of I was sort of supporting Bernie at the time. Not like a hundred percent. Like I didn't like love any, but you know, I was kind of like, all right, well, this is the guy probably, you know, I, I would probably go for him. He's been pretty honest his whole career, you know, it's, you know, I don't know. I'm probably gonna go for him. You know, I wouldn't want to go for Hillary or, and I probably wouldn't go for Trump. So I'm I think I'm going to go for Bernie, you know, probably Bernie. And then the minute that that happened, I was like, light bulbs exploded in my head. Like, Oh shit bomb this is bad you become a shit bomb we need ben carson in four years great mind he has oh my god the fruit salad of their lives guy you gotta be kidding me glorious good lord are you sure the brain surgeon guy who's like an idiot is he really he's like autistic isn't he i mean which mean which by that i mean i think he's like wicked smart in some ways but in other ways he's like dumb you know what I mean? If I type in Ben Carson, a bunch of I feel like a bunch of dumb stuff comes up. 
I don't know though, man. He's a he's one of those guys that like one minute I hear something from him, it sounds amazing, and then another minute I hear something and I'm like, is he on like meds or something? Like, I don't know. But maybe he is smart. Maybe he's smarter than I know. Maybe I, I, I will say that I'm a little bit uneducated on Ben Carson. So for all I know, he could be. I know that Trump likes him. You know, he ran against him. Um, I don't know. Somebody would have to remind me, but I'm pretty sure the guy, he's got like some weird things. Let me see here. Disparity in REO rates. Do you know what an REO is? An Oreo. R. No, not an Oreo. <laughs> an Oreo. An R-E-O. R-E-O. Real estate. What's the O stand for? E-organization. Owned. Real estate owned. That's what happens when a property goes to foreclosure. Disparity in REO rates. Do you know what an REO is? An Oreo. R. No, not an Oreo. An R-E-O. R-E-O. Real estate. What's the O stand for? E-organization. Owned. Real estate owned. That's what happens when a property goes to foreclosure. And we just saw Mr. Trump here. I asked him, how did it go? And he said, great. And he said he learned a lot of things. What do you think he took oh, away from, from my, today? My luggage. <laughs> um, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Dr. Carson is going to try and find his luggage, and he'll be right back with us. What do you think it's been you and Tommy at the Ace Lob 75? Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Please be mine. Oh, it's Cunt Angle. What's up? What's up? How you doing, Angle? Uh, nothing really, man. I just talked to him earlier. Just dealing with his dad issue, you know. Thank you, Angle. Nothing really, man. He just kind of took off. I don't know. I invite, I've invited him to the shows every couple of weeks and he just sort of, uh, I don't know. You know, he just doesn't want to be around. I don't know. We're fine. I just talked to him earlier though. He's fine. Texas Senator Ted Cruz. There were other immigrants who came here in the bottom of slave ships, worked even longer, even harder for less. But they too had a dream. You think being gay is a choice? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Because a lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So did something happen while they were in there? Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Dude, Carson held up that whole line the wrong way. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. I've never seen this. Oh, my God. I'm going to pass out. Former Florida governor. And now Trump is standing with him. Jeb Bush. <laughs> what is Oh my God, how did I never see this? Are you serious? Dr. Ben Carson, please come out on the stage. He's standing there as well. Dr. Carson. And Donald Trump. You know, we throw wow. around, you know, acronyms all the time. Sorry, bro. Listen, I'm going to have to cancel Ben Carson from after seeing that. I know it's propaganda stuff, but I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> the gay comment thing, I got to throw that out the window. The guy thinks that being gay is a choice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess every, I mean, everything's a choice in a way. I mean, like you're, but it's not because come out of, yeah, yes, yeah, some people turn gay like some people discover their gay side in jail maybe or they or they get used to it or maybe they didn't get a lot of love from women before jail and now they go into jail and some guy's butt pumping them 
And then they're like, you know what? I like the butt pumping. And then they just become gay. But for him to think that, like, so he thinks gay people aren't aren't gay that they that they they're like I'm going to be gay cuz that's cool. Yeah, some people are doing that. There's a lot of people more than ever doing that in a way cuz it's but really what it is is a lot of people are more accepted now shit so they come bomb. out like I'm not worried to come out at all. You become a shit bomb. I don't believe he's retarded. I voted for Trump because he is great at trolling. Yeah, I think a lot of people enjoyed like tr people what people liked about Trump and what a lot of people who weren't right wing liked about Trump what a lot of people from the right liked about Trump is they were like yo this guy doesn't give a shit he'll just torch all these idiots on stage and all the people on stage were the government officials for years and years the robots i am jeb bush i would run again my family will lie to you and take oil we will do 911 on america and then you'll believe it we will make patriot act and control you and spy on you yeah people had enough of that so they voted for trump hey joe last night you said you recorded a podcast with you jake and jesse about politics yes have you put it on patreon yet no can't find it really want to watch that Hyped is step for monetize this tonight thank you sir thank you joe mikako Thank you. Uh, it's actually going to go up as soon as I'm done with this. I'm going to convert it to audio because we had to record it under video and I have to re uh, transition it from uh, video to audio. So, boom. So, uh, yeah, that's going to go up in about uh, probably about 10 minutes after the stream ends. I'm going to convert it to audio, upload it to Patreon. It's only 25 minutes long. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do more, but it is it's pretty good and it will go up. So, yeah, you'll get that uh, in uh, probably 20 minutes after this goes off the air. But yeah, um, yeah, it's weird. Uh, da -da. Dun, 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 I don't know what people are talking about in the chat. I'm trying to see. People are fighting with you. I can't tell if they're fighting with me or fighting with other people. I can't really tell. Can't tell if people are arguing with each other or arguing with me. I have no idea. I got to find the wedding ring, bro. It's going to freak me out. Yeah, this is oh my ring. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta wear my ring. I will see you later. Yeah, Ben Carson, where's my luggage? Oh my god, I gotta go. It shows you that Ben Carson's about as smart as I am. But he's like he's like he's like autistic or something. Like when he gets into a brain, when he starts doing brain surgery, he knows everything. He's like, I know do the thing there. Don't touch the nippocandrus. If you touch the nippocandrus, the 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 cranium will calcify in front of the septide. Okay, all right, let's do this. All right, let's go. And like he goes into a trance where he's just fucking flawless. He's amazing. But then he gets on camera and he's like, what? About what happened with where in Uganda? What? I don't know. Wait, look, a cab. Oh, is that a cab? Oh, am I on TV? I don't know. But then he gets into a brain again. He's like, the third lobe connects to the 13 vein spinal column. The five like he that's dude it's what it is i don't know everybody's different everybody's just built this way which is funny because he literally i can identify with that whole like thing about being gay um he thinks that that he thinks that the you know gay people are not born that way well he was born this way <laughs> which is like super smart when it comes to tying brain cells together and super riri when it comes to like having a conversation with a reporter fucking hilarious that's hilarious you heard me catch yourself <laughs> you heard me trump got elected because he gave the middle victor uh the middle victor the middle finger to the system aaron brown says yes that's why so many white people but so many black people, so many Hispanic people, that's why so many people, independents, left wing, voted for Trump the first time. Dude, I know so many people who are trying to, who are going to vote for Bernie. People that were going to vote for Bernie said, all right, I'm on, I'll, I'll support Hillary, okay. But then a lot of Bernie people went, well, fuck this. Forget it, I'm done. And then they flipped over and they voted for Trump. It's crazy. You know, it's like, uh, but they, uh, 
I didn't vote for anybody last election. I decided not to vote, which is the responsible thing to do because voting for one of those two people to me was a huge mistake and I wasn't going to do it. That's how I feel. And I don't give a fuck. Anybody who just said, I'll take the lesser of two evils, I thought that was retarded. I think they're the dangerous people. Anybody that says lesser of two evils, those are the dangerous people. Because there, no le- there is no lesser of two evils. There's just two evils. That's it. There's just evil. You, you like lesser of two evils. <laughs> yeah, no, you're a scumbag. You should end yourself in a river. Like with a, with, with, with a Boy Scout compass. Like stuff a, stuff a Boy Scout's compass in your rectum and then jump off a cliff and land on it. So. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How are you, man? What's, what do you got? So Ricochet, dude, 20, uh, 2024, it looks like. According to Dave Meltzer. 2024 for Ricochet. Who's the top dog? Omar's the top dog. Omar is our top dog of this stream. I would saute your skin, Omar, and put it on a hot dog bun and eat it. Okay? Let me tell you something. Two seconds. Saute it. Eat it up. Eat it up, baby. Boom! Boom. I'll eat it up tonight. Monetize this. 2.99. And I'll tell you what. Bullfrog gets to come back. He has sent me 1000 Twitter messages. I just want to tell you Bullfrog, you need to knock this off, brother. You need to knock it off. Stop messaging me. Shit. Bob. Every two you Seconds. become a shit bum. Because it's driving me freaking Man. nuts. All I want is Kenny, JB, mm. and Joe to be on a show just one more night. Disappointed face. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We, I don't, I don't know where where uh, JB is. Uh, he's off the grid, brother. Glorious 1.0. Thank you, Glorious. I think uh, JB's off the grid, brother. He might have gone. He went Goodwill hunting. Glorious, what up, Glorious? But yeah, tonight, uh, episode 299, the return of anybody banned, anybody who's banned. JB's not banned, though. You know, he just, he's uh, doing his own thing. I don't, th- I'll ask him about 300, though. I'll ask him about 300. Oh, there's mom calling me. Um,. I'm I'm asking it. Yeah, I hit up Troy and everything. So for the 300, uh, JB did get COVID. Yeah, he's better now. Uh, JB's whole family got COVID and they're okay now. I know that everybody announced that, so it's not a big deal. I guess I didn't know everybody announced it, so it's okay. I wasn't gonna bring it. I thought I, I thought for some reason they didn't talk about it, but I remember Shell announced it to everybody one night, and I was like, oh, I knew anyway, but I just didn't know. We were announcing it, so and, uh, anyway, they all got it and beat it. So the whole family, the whole JB family, just <laughs> take that COVID. The whole JB family just shit on that on that shit. They were like, "Yo, we got it. Now you're done." They took a they took a dump on it. I wonder. Um, I'm thinking we we'll, we would lose at least one Cronin. You know. We'd probably lose one Cronin. It'd probably be me. So if 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 I die, you know, at least JB can can tell you know, hey, I'm better than Joe. You know, what I mean, I lived, I outlived COVID. You know, for all I know, I had it. I mean, I don't know. I'll probably get it and have like the really bad version of it to where like it's bad, and then I get better, but it's like four weeks of suffering. And then like I'll be like, yeah, didn't have it, didn't have it last year, definitely had it this year. <laughs> you know, um, but it's fun to think that you had it and your body just pissed it away. Drew McIntyre put you in the grind. It might, it, it, you don't want to get it. It could put you in the grind. Oh boy. It's been, it's been a rough time, man. I don't know. 
It's been a rough time. Here we are. 2021. It's looking like um so okay, so I have a lot of th- I have a lot of things to say about a lot of things. The biggest thing I can tell you guys is make sure you subscribe to me if you want more political stuff or funny, you know, I'm going to try to bring in the comedy with the political stuff too. But if you want more of that sort of talk and the world talk and the ranting about life stuff, definitely subscribe to Shame on News cuz I'm ramping up Shame on News big time for 2021. And I'll tell you what, dude, I listened to a guy the other day on uh, that sounded whacked out of his mind, and the stuff he was talking about was crazy, but he's been right 95% of the time. He's given eight predictions, specific predictions of things, and the exact things happened. He nailed it. And the other day, he gave a prediction that's so wild and crazy, like, I mean, crazy shit that he just said, and this guy is like 95%. And the other day, this thing that he said, if he's wrong about this, if he's wrong about this, I mean, his credibility is like fucking just knocked to, it's gone, right? Like right now he's got almost perfect credibility. And the fact that he's saying this thing that he's saying is whacked out of like another universe. And I'm going to talk about that on Shame on News on my other channel. Love to have you guys, independent, liberal, conservative, libertarians, hippie, whatever you are, don't give a shit, whatever you are, shame on news. I hope you guys come on over. I want to hear all opinions and all takes and everything. It's going to be a fun time because we're just fucking around, but this guy's crazy, man. He's just going to be nuts. If he's wrong, like, wow. But if he's right, this guy is fucking Nostradamus. But he's not Nostradamus because he's not saying things Just like, oh, I predict this happens, and then it happens. He's saying things like, here's why I know this is happening. So it's going to be crazy. We're going to talk about it over there. I don't really want to talk about it here, but I'm going to talk about it on Patreon, and I'm going to talk about it over on Shame on News because it's just too much. It's an hour. It's going to take an hour to describe the whole thing, but it's crazy. (sighs) It's crazy. Wild. But yeah, I mean... um, and yeah, Shame on News originally is where the um, the Young Turks stole our idea. They stole our name, they stole our, our look, and they stole the logo of the Damage Report. So somebody asked about Damage Report. I, I, had, I stopped doing Damage Report because when I went to bring it, I went to bring it back. I, we did seven episodes of Damage Report. And, and some of them did really well. They got thousands of views. They were killing it. This was five years ago. Five years ago or four years ago or five years ago, me and JB, Leah came up with the name Damage Report. Leah came up with it. Um, and no, I'm not trying to steal Drew's views because I was doing that before Drew, so go fuck yourself, you fucking idiot bird retard. Um, just wrestling is shit right now so i'm gonna ramp up my news show again that's all it is wrestling is shit i'm gonna go back to doing more news stuff it's way more hot right now you dumb fucking idiot go back and look at shame on news when the dates it's always this thing that joe steals from everybody but actually they steal from me and then when i show you that they steal not drew i'm not saying drew stole from me but i'm saying like i i was doing that you're saying i stole i didn't steal anything i've been doing this for fucking 10 years and then you go oh i've been doing this first i've been doing this first yeah um you make me say that. You literally make me have to say that. So you say I stole something from Drew, but actually I was doing it seven years ago. But then then you go, well, I was doing it seven years ago. Well, what do you want me to say? Do you want me to just go, yeah, you're right. I stole I, I stole it all. Like, I was the, who the first person to think of doing news on YouTube? Fucking idiot. Dude, shoot yourself in the head. Kill yourself with a shotgun and then fucking choke your... Before you're that, choke your dog to death. Bird, go kill yourself. Sorry. People are so salty, it's funny. (laughs) Drew goes, he showed me how to do it. I actually showed Drew how to do it. 
I told Drew a bunch of crazy shit that he utilized. Drew's actually so good at it now that Drew now tells me how to do things. Like, I basically said, listen, I don't got time to do this over here. Yeah, dude, you should do that. And he wanted to do that. And I'm like, yeah, go for it. I don't have time to keep doing it. Now I'm just, now I have time again. I'm doing it again. You know, it's because wrestling's so dead. So, like, I'm just doing what I used to do again. That's all. I've had shame on news for, go look at when the channel was created, brother. Go look at when the channel was created. But, um, listen. Even Cesaro stole from Joe. Yeah, Cesaro did. I don't make a big deal out of it. I just have to, I have to tell you the truth. Sorry, I like the truth. You know what I mean? If you make me have to defend myself, I'll have to defend myself. But scumbags will be like, oh, you know, you did it first. Uh, he says, blah, blah, blah. like, and then people wonder why I don't work with certain people anymore. It's like, come on. Or why they left or why people get mad at everybody and everybody gets mad at everybody. Oh, my God, bro. I would never fucking put myself in that troll community ever again. Keep me, keep the troll community away from me. It's just too much to deal with. Um, what? Mine? Why? Why is my why is Gavin asking for my Xbox password? What the hell? With no explanation either, like I'm kind of concerned. I just checked up. I just checked on Troy. I said, "Monetize this 300 beer pong." What's up, um, Julius? I'll check that out. Julius, right? What's up, Julius? Joe, I shared a messed up video clip of Virgil. Oh, poor Virgil. Is he okay? What's going on, with Virgil? Uh, let me go take a look here. Let's see. Mm, do, do. <clears throat> Jesus. Uh, Ice T, courtesy of uh, Drew, says Ice T said just FaceTime with, with Dr. Dre. He made it home safe and looking good, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. If it was 2020, he would die on the way home in a car fire. So luckily it's 2021. Dr. Dre's alive, baby, and he's going home. Dr. Dre! Uh, okay, we can watch this. Yeah, we can. Uh, yo, Julius, thank you for sending me this, man. What is going on, though? I would like to give a shot to you, but handle of the same jerk. Dude, is his dick hanging out of his w pants? You, dude, Julius, what's wrong with you, dude? You sent me this video and you didn't even tell me his... What if I played this on the air, bro? His ball sack is hanging out of his bag. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to fucking That's pass out, dude. Star, Virgil in Living Keller. Oh, my God, dude. He did a cameo. <laughs> That's too funny. He must have, dude. I love book. I love cameo. It's always a ball of fun. I'm never a dick like other celebs. So here's a tip: don't hog all me and give me your loved ones a special day. Oh my God, he's plugging his cameo with his ball bag out. I would like. Oh my God, dude! What the fuck? Is that? Oh my God, dude. I can't, I can't even deal with this. Dude, his, his ball sack is out of his pants this whole time. This is WWF wrestling superstar Virgil oh in Living God. Color. I would like to give a shout out to in and in Auctions. 
<sighs> and I like to tell them, back in the day, I burned a photo on live TV of a jerk. If he wasn't a jerk, I wouldn't have burned it, but he was a jerk. And if you had a photo oh my of God. the same jerk, you would burn it too. Oh my God, dude. His ball is like tightly hanging out of his pants. Wow. All right. All right. I'm going to be okay. What the hell, dude? What in the world? Holy shit. Joe, you look like Jonathan Tucker. Who the hell shit is that? Bomb. I hope that's not a racist. You become a shit bomb. Tony Atlas. Tony Atlas. What up? No, no, it's uh it was Virgil, yeah. <laughs> I like uh I like uh Tony Atlas though. I've I've uh I've met I've hung out with Tony Atlas. I've probably hung out with Tony Atlas ten times. I've been around Tony Atlas twenty five to thirty times, and I've hung out with Tony Atlas uh like ten times that we've hang talked and hung out. He never shuts up, which is the one problem. You can never get Tony Atlas to shut up. <laughs> but, God, I love Tony Atlas. I sort of see what you're saying about this guy that you say I look like. One of the reasons, one of the reasons I don't look like him is because I'm so out of shape. And he's like really cut and in shape. And he's got a longer head and I have a more rounder head kind of. But you are kind of... I see what you're saying. I kind of see what you're saying. Like if you str if you made his head a little more rounder like this. Like I sort of see what you're saying. Shit bomb! I sort of see what you're saying. You become a shit bomb. Joe, you should go watch this guy on YouTube. His channel is Jvlad. He did an interview with New Jack. Very good interview. Very deep. I'll check that out, Glorious. Uh, oh yeah, I'll check that out, man. I'll write the. Oh, that's in the dono, so I'll go look in the dono and remember it. Yeah, I see what you're saying about this guy. Sort of. He's just he's just way more in shape, is all. Like this guy's way more in shape than me. Like, if I was in crazy shape and I was way thinner than a little bit, maybe. But, yeah, he's got a... But, yeah, he just has a different look, though. He's got his, like, whole facial structure is different to me. Dude, my son got a haircut today. And he... You guys have seen my son. He's had long, red, curly hair for a while. He didn't want to get it cut. He didn't want to get his hair cut, but people would mistake him for a girl and people would mistake him for his sister all the time. They'd be like, oh man, your daughter looks great. I'd be like, that's my son. And so now he got a haircut and now he looks like a, like he looks more like a boy again, but so he got a haircut. So Finn got a haircut. So now look, he's a boy again. You know, he, his hair was down to his shoulders. So his hair had been down to his shoulders. Now it's short. So he looks like a boy again. And he was happy about it, so. And he hadn't been out to get a haircut in a little while, so. You know, they're, all the haircut places are open here. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what's going on in California or other places. But in Massachusetts, you know, unless you're in the city, like in Boston, I almost think that they got rid of Marty Walsh, the mayor, that Biden took the mayor, and they're going to put in a new, like, crazy, like, deep state mayor. Because Boston always does pretty well. Massachusetts has been doing too well. We've been doing good. You know, we haven't been like losing our minds like New York or California or even Chicago and some other places. And and like I'm thinking like, you know what? They're like this. These people need a kick in the ass with the deep state here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get Marty Walsh up here and we're going to insert somebody else. Like, I don't know, dude, I'm kind of worried about that. I'm thinking that that might be what's going on because we've been doing a little too peaceful over here in Boston. Little too peaceful. Even when they tried to execute the riots in Boston, you know, nothing really happened much. A couple of cop cars, you know, got burned. A couple of windows broke. And really, people went home pretty quickly. It really wasn't a big deal at all. It was kind of like the Capitol. Like, 
clearly they wanted people to go into the Capitol and just go nuts, right? But they, but like instead, they like the it's like the when the bomb the thing doesn't go off, you know what I mean? The firework doesn't go off. You light it and you go, oh my god, okay, we got it, okay, throw it down, oh my god, what's gonna do? And then, that's what happened. They were like, okay, let tell the cops to let them in. Tell everybody to let them in. Let them. Let's go. Let's go. Open the doors. Open the. Get the people to break the window. Go inside. Okay, now go. Let them go. Ah. And then the people just go in and they go, hey, look, we're in here. Hey, there's a picture. Hey, whoa, cool. Look, hey, Nancy, I'm at your desk, Nancy. Look at this. I'm gonna write bitch on your folder and then put that there. And, uh, and then the Secret Service is going to go in, or whatever, the secret uh, deep state uh, Navy Nazis are going to go in and grab Nancy Pelosi's laptop, and they're going to take all the stuff off it real quick so they can get her on all the things she's done. And uh, then the president, uh, then they're going to arrest, uh, they're going to arrest all of them uh, the day of the inauguration. We'll find out. If they arrest Nancy Pelosi and Biden on the day of the inauguration, then you know all that was planned big time. <coughs> <laughs> but right now we got to take a look at the videos. This this shit went down the other day on Twitter, and I didn't even know about it. Between J Man, I mean I know that monetize this is two ninety nine tonight. Next week is the belt. Next week's the belt. Three hundred is next week. But this went down on Twitter, and this is crazy. There really is. And we have to watch this between J Man and shit. Drew. You become a shit bomb. Joe, I'm Whoa. coming for your monetize this belt. Oh my god, really? You better bring it. You better bring it hard, Casey is raw. Casey, I'm <laughs> you don't know what you're in for, Casey. You have no idea, brother. Thank you for the three dollars, Casey. Guys, thank you for the donations live. You guys are the only reasons I can still do all this stuff on YouTube. If you got the donations, bring them on. The new link is down below, and it's in the chat, uh, pinned to the top. Super chats are there as well. There's no other way for me to f be really funded but you guys. So if you guys want to donate and you have the ability, thank you so much for doing it, man. I'm obviously monetize this tonight. We'll be going off with you know the donations. That's like a big part of the show. It's monetize. This was always kind of designed to be a guys hangout, and then it became everybody hangout. Then it became everything hangout. Then it became donation and hangout. You know. But it really funds all the shows. Besides Patreon, Monetize This funds everything we do. So without you guys, this shit's dead. So thank you, man. I mean, thank you, Casey. And thanks to the top dog, Omar is the top dog. Thank you guys for allowing me to do this, man. I don't have the Alex Jones uh, things to sell, but I do have uh, you guys in the support buttons. Although my old my old link isn't working for whatever reason I don't know, and they still haven't gotten back to me. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. But my other accounts are all fine, so I don't know what's. I have no idea what's going on. But my rep gets back from vacation next Tuesday. But I but again I would still like to hear from them. I don't know why they haven't responded back to me. Let's see what went down yesterday between J Man and Drew. So here we are. The monetize this championship chip. You know. I've had this belt now six weeks. I've asked the JCS Army to give me their best. And all you guys have given me is the rest. Drew's cut promos. I got Amanda Carmen. You have no idea what type of promo that I'm going to cut. Before 300, J-Man, you son of a bitch with your big nostrils and your four eyes and your lot lizard lips. They can smell a lot lizard from a mile away. Belch, the chinless wonder. And Casey is raw. Those aren't the people I want. Where's Joe Cronin? Where's Leah? Where's Jesse? Where's Nerdy? Where's Monica? You see, I stole this belt from Drew for the purpose of the fact that I didn't feel like he was going to get this belt over. And I didn't feel he was doing a good enough job. But honestly, nobody cares. Ooh. You all are going to 
vote in whoever you want. I mean, D. Walsh was already going to drop all his money for Amanda. I really thought that this belt needed a heel. And I was the man to be it. But clearly, you're not even buying it on from me. I guess there's only one thing I can do. Let's see here. What's he gonna dox, Drew? <laughs> He's gonna run the belt over. He's gonna run the belt over. Get out of the truck. And we'll just have to make a surprise entrance. Hmm. I wonder who lives here. Wouldn't it be great if he just went in? Uh, oh. where, was he, he's going in his house. Now J-Man's at his what house. He's going to go in his house. He's going to throw the belt in his toilet. You flush my belt down your toilet, J-Man. I'm going to be pissed. J-Man from KC. And it's true. <laughs> Back where it all started. <laughs> Back where I took the belt. That <laughs> drew over the head with it. With a, uh, what was that? Frying pan or a baking sheet? Baking sheet knocked a lot of sense into me. It yeah, did. It did. It did. It also showed you that there really isn't nothing you can do to get these people interested. No, no, not at all. So apparently, you and I have to do it. Yeah, combined together. I mean, like I should just do this. Hmm. No one cares, right? No. So I'll just I'll I'll take this thing into three hundred, and as I was telling everyone a minute ago, I'm not sure what you said, but Joe hasn't been cutting promos. I, I haven't seen anything from him. No, Joe doesn't care. Joe's just he thinks he's going to sit there and he's going to win it on his own merit, being that it's his belt and his show. Yeah, he thinks he's just going to sit and he doesn't have to do anything to win this belt, and he's dead wrong. So is Nerdy. Oh, they all are. Yeah. Nerdy is definitely and, wrong. And I'll D say. Welsh. Drop all your money you want. Amanda's not going to win either. Oh. Yeah. Amanda's going to win a free surgery from... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you, uh, J-Man. Wow, you gave the belt back to Drew. Two irrelevant people handing a title in between each other. Very great. Very good. That was more that was impact wrestling. See, see, that's the thing. It's so I'm trying to come down to your levels, J, J Man and Drew. Do you not understand that? Do you not understand that if I cut a promo, I just win. I just win. Why do you think I've been so quiet? Because I'm trying to let the playing field even and roll and even roll until it gets to monetize this 300. And then that night you're going to find out why I'm going to win. If I cut promos now, last week, or any point, it's going to become evident that I am the clear superiority here. So you'll just be dead on arrival. You're already dead now. If I, All I have to say is five words. Five words. That's all I got to say. You can make these promos and you can make all these things. I just need five words to make people go, yep, I'll take him over them. You suck, you stupid idiot. 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 Your mother is a whore. Like, these are the only... I can... Five things, five words, five promos. You'd be done. I would set fire to everything you've done. It's just like, it's not even hard. I could spit at the camera and stare at it and I would win. That is exactly why I haven't said anything. Because you are dead on arrival if I speak. By keeping quiet and just saying, I'm going to win it on the night and that's about it. That's all that needs to be said. That's enough to make people go, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if Joe will do that. He might do that. Man, these guys are kind of lame. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But if I speak, boom, it's over. 
dead on arrival. Done. Now, the question is, where is Monica? Because she is somebody who could cut a promo. Where is Monica? Where is Leah? You know, but Leah's a quiet person. She's one of those people that would do it on the night of the... The bottom line is, I kept quiet for your benefit. I kept quiet so that the game could be played leading into Monetize This 300, so that there could be an idea that there's competition going on. The idea that there's a competition, it's just like our government. It's just like our life. It's just like the United States in America. The illusion that you're free. The illusion that you have freedom of choice. You have the illusion that you could win a belt. I allow that illusion. And I've allowed it for a long time. But the second that Joe Cronin cares or needs to step up, it's over. It's spoiled. That's how bad you are. You can take the belt to Timbuktu. You can take the belt to Grand Canyon, J-Man. J-Man, if you were smart, you would have fucked a lot, Lizard, while wearing the belt. That would have been your only hope of getting that belt over and yourself over with it. That would have been your only hope of having people following you and saying, this guy is hilarious. Wow, this belt's on the map. You would have had to slide inside of a lizardy cunt to get that belt over a little bit with you. You can stand in front of all the Ford trucks. You can stand in all front of all the valleys. You can stand in front of the Grand Canyon. You can stand in front of the Capitol while people are rioting. You can stand in front of Big Bird himself, Hollywood. You can go to Arizona. You can go to Babylon. You can go to Timbuktu. You can go to the zoo. You can go to New York. You can go to Boston. You can go to Florida. You can go to Maine. You can go to New United Kingdom. You can go stand in front of Jean-Luc Picard dressed up in Star Trek gear. You can do all of that and it still wouldn't matter because you're still lame as hell. And Drew, certainly, the more Drew tries, the worse it gets. The worse it gets. Drew would be better off just holding the belt. Drew needs a manager. That's the problem, Drew. You need a fucking manager, Drew. You're a wrestler who shouldn't be talking. You should have a manager, but you don't have one. You're a wrestler who doesn't have a manager, but sucks on the mic. That's what you are, Drew. You are the reason why wrestling managers exist. Because of big, fat neckbeards like you. You don't have a neckbeard because you can't grow hair. So instead, you just have that giant Tommy NC bulge coming out of your throat. And that big belly of a tire around your stomach. When you lay on top of your wife, your penis inverts into her anus side. That's what happens to you, Drew. So you need to figure that out for yourself. I don't know if you got to go talk to a neighbor during COVID, a co-worker. you got to go down to the supermarket. you got to make a phone call and hire somebody. you got to go on Cameo and beg somebody for $300 to say 50 words for you. That might be what you have to do. But you are the epitome of why there are wrestling managers out there. You couldn't hold a fucking candle to what I could do if I lost half of my brain in a fiery fucking car crash on the Autobahn, okay? I could become paralyzed tomorrow and the charisma of my drooling lips would still beat you in a talent show contest. You could juggle monkeys while on fire and Joe Cronin's speaking lips from a bed, from a hospice bed, would still... Put more asses in seats than you, you cone-headed, raccoon-eyed, big-necked, out-of-shape, diabetes, soon-to-be-having, bad excuse for a father, leaky basement, son of a bitch. Okay? J-Man, you lot lizard searching scumbag. There is no JB to set the belt on fire. And you see what you've made me do. You see now what you've made me do. Come monetize this 300. You're really not going to believe what I have to do. I'm going to do something... 
that no one's gonna believe. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. Where is the make a wish link for Amanda? It's in the Charles River, uh, Glorious 1.0. It's in the Charles River. It's in the Charles River. What up, Travis TLC? How you doing, Travis? Travis! What up, man? Didn't you make a bullfrog thing for tonight or something like that? I don't know. what What's going on, dude? What's going on, Travis? I thought I saw you tweet it out or something. I don't remember. Hit me up, man, if you got something for tonight. I forget. Somebody said it. I don't remember. I don't know. So Hit me up if you... I don't remember. If you have anything on Tommy, obviously, I don't want to do anything on Tommy because he's going through some bad stuff right now. I don't want to do anything on him, but if you do have something, let me know. Just DM me on Twitter, bro. Last week's was really good, though. Or was it a couple weeks ago now that you made that other one? I don't remember. It was a couple weeks ago. Anyway, Tommy blamed me for the whole thing, just like you said he would. So you were right about that, Travis. Uh, make a wish for Amanda. Somebody was saying that you're a scumbag or something. Is that really Travis? Why is pe why are people telling me that Travis is a scumbag? Why are people saying that? He's a scumbag, flip flop, liar. What, what are you talking? Is this a fake? Is that really Travis? Travis, hit me up on on Twitter, in a DM if that's really you. Why are people saying that? Why are people telling me this stuff about Travis? I don't get it. You guys always like Travis, I thought. Unless that's not, unless you're talking about because that's a fake Travis. I don't know. Maybe it's fake. I don't know. Everyone says I'm a scumbag. <laughs> okay. All right. That's weird. What? Really? What'd you do? What did you do? And these are like old school people telling me this, like OG people who are like, don't give a shit usually about anything. It's weird. I don't know. I don't, I never seen you do anything scummy. Uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, you wait till 300 to monetize this, man. I'm going to have to go somewhere that we haven't gone in a long time. Uh, uh, I have the biggest privates. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, okay. It's good. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's real. Okay. So people just don't, people have some kind of problem. Okay. That's weird. It's weird. Cause credit, it's like when, when random people do it, Travis, I'm like, who cares? I don't care that they're telling me this stuff, but like, it was like people that even I've seen you be friends with these people. So I don't even know why they're saying that. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, whatever. Dr. Dre's out of the hospital and uh, that's good news. So I like that. Thanks to everybody who donated. I definitely stayed on later than I thought I was going to stay on during this stream, man. But I had a blast with you guys. I had a lot of fun. Leaping Lizard. Um, and that's it, man. I, I think we're out of here, bro. Uh, thank you all for being here. Glorious. Thank you, sir. Monetize this tonight. Two ninety nine tonight. I might be live with a little bit of a wrestling review, maybe. I don't know yet. Possibly SmackDown review here, and then boom, we'll go to monetize this two ninety nine. Where um, all the people that were banned are back. I saw some people mention names that would come back tonight. Those people aren't banned. They just left. So, like, those people are not banned. We're talking about banned people. Like, like JB's not banned. He, like, left. Why do people have stupid? Like, I don't get it. People always blame me for when people leave. I don't know why. It's, I didn't make them leave. Stop it. Stop blaming me. I mean, maybe it is my fault, but... I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't want them to leave. Um. Certainly, uh, Tommy's dealing with his father passing away, so that's really obviously been really rough on him. So I haven't even asked him anything. I wouldn't ask him anything. I talked to him on the phone earlier, and so just see, you know, send him nice things if you send him anything on Twitter. Just say nice things, and you know, he's dealing with a lot. And it sounds like it hasn't hit him yet, but it will, and it's rough, you know. So. I don't know, man. I don't even want to talk about it again. I'll get all upset again because the poor guy. Um, it's really rough. Talk. This the like we're dealing with the worst time ever. Like I can't even believe how bad this is. Never seen anything like this. Crazy.
Dun, 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 dun. Travis talks shit about me? Where? What are you talking about? Troll account number 70. Monetize this two ninety nine. What up, Sam Clark? What up, Sam Clark? Your mom comes on my face, and I spray my jizz all over the place tonight. Is monetized this? You can soak up my piss. I'm on a p- no, I'm just kidding. P- pa- Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show in about twenty minutes or less, probably less. I will have that twenty five minute little episode of me and Jesse and Jake. It's too bad it wasn't long. It was supposed to be an hour long. We we're going to talk about movies and all kinds of things, but we we had to do out of nowhere, so we only had 20 minutes. And unfortunately, we just talked a little bit about the former presidents and just some weird stuff like that. It's kind of bizarre, but it's going up on Patreon in just a few minutes. So please check out Patreon in like 10 minutes or uh, sign up if you can. And thanks to uh, John Clout, whoever that is. What the fuck? John Clout, he became a patron, a $5 patron. Thank you, John. And shout out to all these $25 and above producers on Patreon. And especially Sith Negan over, my God, uh, almost two years in the $100 spot on Patreon. Shout out to Tony from Revere. If you guys want to support my show, the best way to do it is on Patreon and live donations. But come on to Patreon and give us the boost. We need a boost. Bring the boost. See you tonight.